Hi friends, I'm pretty pumped up because today is the first day of the Ugly Art Club's five minute challenge. Now, if you don't know what this is, this is a challenge hosted by the Ugly Art Club where they give you a prompt a day for two weeks plus a bonus day and you set the timer for five minutes and get to creating. Now, a couple disclaimers that I want to say up front. You should treat the prompts and the timer, all of that, those rules, quote unquote, um, as loosely or as strict as fits whatever you need right now in your art practice. If you're struggling to just make it into your art space, the five minute timer will be perfect for you. Go in for five minutes and see what you can do. If you want to just use the word as your prompt, if you want to use the prompt little cutouts that they have, um, that's great too. So a couple things I'm taking inspiration. So today's prompt is cycle. And first off, I'm taking inspiration from the color of that little prompt cutout. So I cut those all out ahead of time so that they're ready to go. I printed all uh, 15 out in color and I also printed them out in black and white because I wasn't quite sure what I would want each day. And I think it will change each day whether I use the color version or the black and white. So it gives me a little bit of flexibility, which I really like. Now with the timer, I am not always great about getting to that five minutes and then just putting my hands up and stopping. I am definitely trying to stick within it as best as I can, but in the end, I would go back and work on these more if I just turned off the timer and turned off the camera. So I would rather just take you guys along for that ride so you can just see how I'm going to finish them off. But there's a couple things that I do in order to help me as best as possible stay within a shorter time frame than what I would normally create because I am moving faster and thinking about things quicker than maybe I would if I didn't have that timer set for me. So I like to think about whatever that prompt is ahead of time. So that's my first step. Second, see what comes from that. Now it can be very obscure related or it can be closely related here. I'm taking like circles cycle and then I kind of thought about the wheels on a bike like a cycle a bicycle so you can see I'm not taking things too literally and that's just part of who I am as an abstract artist. I've never wanted to take things too realistically. In fact for so long that's what stopped me from thinking that I even was an artist believe it or not because I couldn't do things realistically. So now instead of fighting against that I just know that prompts are just that. They're just a prompt to help you get going. You do not need to stick so literally to it. Now, if your challenge for yourself is to be more realistic in whatever your art practice may be, then go for it. I just want you to give yourself the permission to Take the prompts as loosely or as strict as you want. Take that timer um, with a grain of salt and just do what works best for you. In the end, no one is going to come by and give you a grade on this. This is not homework. This is meant to be something fun to do. So I'm adding in that little prompt. Um, I keep wanting to call it a tab. It's not a tab, but that little prompt prompt tag on in a couple different spots. I love the pattern of this one. And so I want to add it into a couple different places. If you're curious on what my journal is going to look like, I'm not quite revealing that to the end because it's going to be a bit of a work in progress as I go. Um, I'll tag the in the intro video down below in the description so you can get a better idea. And in that video, I flip through some of the past um, five minute challenge journals that I've done, I decided I really wanted to work on these pages individually and then I'll be binding them all together in a journal format at the very end. And I'm really excited about the binding method that I came up with. Um, I did a little bit of a prototype, but beyond that, I'm just going to kind of wing it here and see how it goes. 
I'm big on combining all the different textures and the textiles with the mixed media supplies. Um, as far as supplies goes, make sure to check that description down below because as best as I can, I'll try to link all of those um, for you if you want any of those links. Of course, if I miss anything, please let me know and I'll try to find where that is from for you. All right, so you can see that I did hit the end of that five minute timer, but I want to add a little bit of stitching onto the page and of course, stitching always takes a little bit longer. So I'm okay that I didn't get it within the five, but overall, I would actually be happy right here if I stopped and didn't do any more. But I thought it would be fun to come in with my thread and do a little bit of a circular shape here and go with that kind of cycle, the, the revolutions. Um, again, I'm kind of thinking of that bicycle wheel for some reason. I used a couple of really fun supplies in the making of this um, spread here today. So the first ink that you saw me using is a quink ink. I think that's how you pronounced it is Q-U-I-N-K. And I'm really enjoying it. It's it's like a Sumi ink or something, you know, like you would use like that, but it's more of a Payne's gray color. And I like to combine it with water and to do little splatters, different things. It's more of that blue tone and that Payne's gray versus a true black, which I love a true black most of the time. But when I'm going in this blue color scheme, which I've been obsessed with for the past month, probably, I think it just goes so beautifully together. Um, the other is I'm using some recycled textiles from a pair of jeans here and some quilting cotton fabric. The thread that I'm using is from one of my favorite new Etsy shops. Um, and this is a hand dyed thread that she makes. So of course I'll link her down below as well. Okay. So you're probably wondering what is left in this video when we're done with this spread. So I decided that instead of working on like a two page spread for a journal, I would do a kind of a bonus spread that's very, it's my original intention was for it to be pretty basic and it will just complement the main spread of that day. Instead of having like days one and two next to each other because they could be completely different colors and for some reason as loose and as free with my artwork as I try to be, I do like a spread to be cohesive. So instead of fighting against that, I thought I would do a little bonus spread each day that is more simplistic. At first, I was just going to do like a repeating pattern, but it ended up looking too plain. So I'm going to do a few of the techniques that I did in the full page spread there or the first, the actual prompt page and repeat some of those. So you can see here I'm making some repetitive marks on a separate sheet of paper and that is not even going to go in today's project at all. That's just my nature of I don't want anything to go to waste. So if I have that pigment on my brush, I want to make some paper with it um, and I can use it in a later project. So instead of cutting those things out or fast forwarding in um, this series of videos, I thought I would leave a lot of that in so you guys can see how I'm actually working when I'm at home in my studio. We put a lot of things out there that are fully edited, that are easier to watch, that are really like quick, but in this series, I wanted to show you that I am trying to work quick because of the timer. But in the end, if something, if I have that pigment, I'm not going to let it go to waste. That's just who I am. So I want to bring you guys in with that on the journey. So I'm adding a few more little art marks here, a few pencil scribbles. Um, it was looking a little one dimensional. So I'm bringing now in some white gesso with my finger and I'm loving the way that that quink ink mixes with a gesso because it's just that Payne's gray and kind of a slate gray type of color, which is just really, really pretty in my opinion. So I'm really excited for the rest of the days, you guys. I think you're going to love it as well. Let me know in the comments, are you participating in the challenge and are you participating in it real time? Are you doing all the prompts in one day? Are you crazy like me a little bit? Um, 
how are you going to participate? Or maybe you're too busy right now and you plan to do it a little bit later. No matter how you're participating or if you're just watching along, that's great too. You're still feeding your creativity by watching some art videos. So I hope that you guys will follow along for the rest of the days and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one.